Who should I show my poem to next? Natastiniki. Well, it's about what I expect from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, it's not like I said it was bad, it's just I didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. It's not that, not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sympathetic and stuff so people don't even well, so people don't even take my writing seriously but isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves your writing style wouldn't make you your message any less good yes exactly i like it when it's easy to read but it hits you hard like in this poem seeing everyone around you do great things can really be really really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But on the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. <laughs> like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's why I mean it's to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Don't you expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to, to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for being for my mediocre her writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is all this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, sorry and Monoka Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems as they read in tandem. I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did he say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Uh, yours is cute. A uh, cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. That how can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language. I guess it was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try to that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it doesn't really come off. Um, uh, uh, nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for the suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did get, by the way. Siri liked Siri, and Lamasu did too. And based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own, first of all. Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm, and Lamas, who liked my poem too, you know, he even told me he was impressed by it. 
Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, eh that's not what I... Uh... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Lamasu appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... Uh, no! If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everyone... Everyone I do of really cut seat. No. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who, whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Lamasu started showing up. And it's Nas Nasuki. Uh, Nasuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Lamasu. She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. And this would and have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the, the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her. Wait, wait. There's a reason why you have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning them most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Lamasu? Um, well, how do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Ooh! Help me, Sari. Go with Yuri. Nisuki. You're right that I like your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to I mean you should pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri? Ah, uh, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it's because it's something really personal. And it becomes something. Something real. It's not. Not why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I. I see. I didn't notice that. I. Mm, I'm sorry. I. But you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that, Nasuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you sh that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? Mm. Nasuki clenched her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped in at this point, being definite only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her uh, um, something sometimes when I'm hurt it helps to take a walk and clear my head so she doesn't need to you know what I'm going to do that I'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now without warning Nasuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out on her way out she crumples up the poem with her hand and throws it in the trash Nasuki she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin bared in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? Oh. I want to pause it 